Hello everyone, today we are going to design a very nice looking uh, loader, two types of loader, one is going to be uh, a dark theme, another one is going to be a light theme and we are going to design that using just Adobe XD. Now there is a new update in Adobe XD which is time and we are going to use that time trigger to trigger our uh, these um, loader, bar loaders and a dot loader, okay. So um, I am Asana Drisi, uh, you might have uh, know me or um, uh, I teach mostly about UI design. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is this one. This is light theme. And uh, if we go to this pro uh, prototype mode, uh, if I click on this, this is going to be home. We are going to start it. Okay, so this is going to be home. So let me show you a preview. Okay, so it is going to be like this dot 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 it is going to be loading something like that and the second one we are going to do is we are going to complete this is going to be this loader and let me show you how it look like okay so it looks like this it is going to be loader bar uh, a dark bar and a little bit of um, 3d effect or maybe you can say elevated effect for this loader bar Now we are going to jump to a new artboard and we are going to create this. So let's get started. File and new. I'm going to open up this one iPhone 6, 7, 8. Let's zoom in. Control 0 or Command 0. And uh, we just need to do just one thing which is going to use this ellipse. Press E or click on this one. And press Shift Hold shift and I am going to make it just make it 24 by 24 okay so remove the border use the fill color and I am going to use fill color from somewhere over here uh, okay so this one looks great I'm going to add it to my colors and uh, V let's replicate it alt or option key and something like this select all of them con command control G group them and center line it okay and I'm going to center line it vertically too and uh, let's move them a bit up one two I'm holding shift to move them up and arrow keys Okay, now we are going to need some text over here. So I'm going to use connecting. Mm, just connecting is good. I think. Center line it too. Now you can see we have everything uh, lined up. One text and these dots. Okay. So uh, just to make sure what we are going to do is we are going to uh, duplicate, replicate this group. Command or control D. So okay, so we have now the second group. I am going to select all of the ellipses, and I am going to change the fill color to something sharper like this. Okay, so this is sharper. This is dull uh, blue color. Okay, so we have the second group. Okay, so in this artboard we are going to hide it. Okay, so click on this eye icon to hide it. Now, uh, very simple. We are going to replicate the artboard select the artboard name press alt or option key and one two three and four one two three four okay so we need one two three four five five copies actually let me see we have five okay so we have five copies uh, that is great. Now we are going to go to this first one. Enable this group. Um, okay, so we are going to hide one, two, and three. Okay, so I am going to hide three dots and just showing the one of them. Uh, in this one and now uh, in the second one, we are going to again do the same. Uh, hide the just two of them. Okay, so one, two, and then we are going to show three of them okay so unhide the group 
शो वन टू सॉरी सो जस्ट हाइड द लास्ट वन एंड इन दिस वन वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर गोइंग टू शो समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आवर होल सेक्शन फाइव आर्ट बोर्ड्स शोइंग वन देन टू देन थ्री एंड देन फोर डॉट्स एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज गोइंग टू बी एम टी वेयर द ऑल ऑल डॉट्स आर द सेम डल ब्लू कलर ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द प्रोटोटाइप एरिया एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस फर्स्ट आर्ट बोर्ड लिंक इट टू द सेकेंड वन एंड रेदर देन टैप वी आर गोइंग टू गो टू दिस टाइम एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट वन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज पॉइंट वन सेकेंड्स and uh, for the transition let's move this artboard a bit up so we can see what is down below okay so uh, now we are going to do is uh, okay so everything looks great let's change this to point 2 okay so for the first one i am using easing ease out and the duration is point 2 seconds so time duration this is the delay after how much time it is going to show the next artboard and this is the easing effect of this uh, how it is going to transition to the next uh, artboard so uh, these are two things we are going to set let's set this default value now you can see it is setting the uh, the value i have set before 0.2 and 0.1 it is setting it right now something like that okay so the last one i am going to connect it to the first one using the same values okay so let's play it and now you can see how this effect is looking it is looking really great uh four dots loading again and again and uh, this is how we can create uh, all these kind of different loading effects using just uh, adobe xd okay so let's start uh, with another artboard and i am going to replicate uh, okay so let's go to design and replicate this one now what we need over here we don't need this also not need this and we are going to use uh, something like loading dot 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 and for the background color we are going to use i have selected this uh, artboard let's zoom in so you can see what i'm trying to do so select this artboard and uh, change its fill color to something over here something like this okay so i'm going to add it over here so we can easily change it whenever we want then for this loading i am going to change its color to something over here so this is the loading text okay so i am going to move it in the middle then we are going to use this uh, rectangle and let's create a rectangle of 250 actually i created a rectangle of 264 a loading bar and uh, the height will be 10 okay so you can keep it to 8 or something like that it's up to you and then we are going to change the corner radius to 4 okay or maybe 6 whatever you think looks great okay so we have our basic bar let's move it in the middle i'm going to use 10 over here this time and also going to expand it to 207 oops 270 something like that okay so now actually we need uh, two bars so the background bar is going to be a darker shade of this one okay so i'm going to color pick over here okay so we got this color and now we are going to switch to hsb mode and i am going to reduce the brightness to 15 15 okay so now you can see this is the darker color of the same shade and um i am removing the border okay so now we got the background over here 
Okay, now we need another rectangle on top of this one. And uh, we're going to duplicate this, replicate this control command D. And this is going to be our second rectangle. And uh, simply either you can use just this color, this blue color, it is looking good on this one. Uh, make sure it is a bit lighter shade because the background is a bit darker or we can go to linear gradient and create some gradient top to bottom something like that now you can see it is looking a bit elevated and a bit uh, 3d effect okay so um, for the bottom color so you can see you can change the angle of this one too if you want something like this or something like this I think this one looks great Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to change the color for this one to little sharper color. Okay, so this is the gradient I am going to go with. Okay, so one at the top, let's hide it. And now the only thing we need to do is replicate this. Okay, so if you want a great uh, looking effect, you need to replicate it 12 times or 10 times at least. For this exercise, I am going to use 1, 2, 3. Let's replicate it. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine let's use nine this time okay so okay so this is the first one this must be empty the second one is going to be showing some loader so for this rectangle I am going to divide uh, 270 by 8 so almost 33 or 34 we need to increase something like that okay so for this width we are going to use 34 okay something like that now uh, in the next one we are going to use the double of 34 okay so I need to keep the calculator over here 34 multiplied by 268 so this one is going to be 68 something like that and 68 plus 34 is going to be 102 for this one I am going to use um, 102. Two thirty six, and for this one, we are going to use the whole width. Okay, so now you can see this is how these uh, are loading and uh, now we just need to connect them using our prototype so let's go to prototype and uh, let's remove this one let's move it over here like this and uh, we are going to use the same same values over here uh, let's uh, ease out and uh, zero two okay so let's see what how it looked like uh, feels like so I'm going to connect all of them and connecting the last one back to the first one oops something okay so I need to select this artboard to get the time actually so now you can see just shift it to time Fixing this okay so now I'm going to uh, make this my home first artboard and let's play this now this is our loading bar you can see how it is loading with some easing effect Okay, so I hope you have uh, loved this or liked this tutorial and how you can create this loading bar in Adobe XD only. 
and uh, if you have any questions if you want to learn about uh, adobe xd in detail i have a full course on that uh, on udemy and skillshare uh, i think it's uh, six hours or maybe more than that uh, longer than that okay so um if you have any question post below in the comments if you like this video don't forget to subscribe or at least uh, press the like button uh, okay so thumbs up and uh, see you soon in the next video